Okay, guys, so here we go, new product. So presumably by now, everyone has seen the notification that's come through, whether it by app or email, that we have a new product that the company is about to launch. And the new product is called Wealth Manager. And I'm going to minimize this a little bit because it's blocking my screen. So Wealth Manager, so new, new products. I like it when people bring out new products, but let's talk about what it is and how it's going to help us. So the new, new Wealth Manager app is due to be launched in quarter four. Now, that's the first thing that I want everyone to get clear in their head. Quarter four. This isn't going to happen tomorrow. So quarter four starts. Uh, Glenn, sorry, Glenn. No. So quarter four starts on the 1st of October and runs right through to the 31st of December. Now, the email that came out said that the product will be launched in quarter four. It didn't say it'll be launched on the first day of quarter four. We don't know at this moment in time precisely when, we just know that the product is coming. So keep your eyes peeled. There will be more information that's gonna come through from the company on it. But let's tell you what we've got so far and how much we actually know about it. So first and foremost, what is it? Wealth Manager is going to allow people to make investments for as little as $10 into US stocks and ETFs. Now the fact that we have something that people can start to invest for as little as $10 is quite important because these days, I don't know if you've noticed, but there are banks in the UK, uh, banks like Morgan Stanley Bank, which is a US bank that's come over to the UK that is now trying to talk people into investing as, as opposed to saving and starting investments for very, very small amounts of money. However, the investment returns that they talk about are absolutely minuscule. However, the fact that mainstream banks are advertising on TV, investments are starting to put it into people's minds and that's gonna be important and that's gonna help for us. The fact that we can talk to people about investments for as little as $10, that's huge. Anybody can afford that. However, the important thing is that our returns are gonna be substantially greater than the 1% a month that uh, Morgan Stanley are talking about. So no transfer fees. Uh, when it comes to small denomination, uh, denominations, oh, sorry, there will be only transfer fees on small, small denominations, but those transfer fees will be the lowest on the planet, they promise. And they will accept all major currencies, including Lido cryptocurrencies. So people can pay not just by regular cash, but also pay by cryptocurrency as well. Since the app's going to be available free for all Covera distributors, the company is expecting this to become one of the primary recruiting tools that we have. Now, I'm hoping to see some exciting graphics that will show people that you can actually just hold your phone out and show people how well your investments are doing. Exactly what it is at this moment in time, we don't know better than that. But this is the promise, so this is the start, and let's have, let's have a look at that. But let's talk about what the product sector is, first of all. So first of all, Wealth Manager is involved in equities and ETFs. So what's an equity? Well, an equity is what the Americans call stocks and shares. It's effectively an equity holding. The difference between equities and Forex is that when you buy a share in something, when you buy an equity, you have a, you actually own a piece of that company, albeit a tiny, tiny piece, but you own it. And the price can do what it likes. The price can go up or down. But you won't lose any money until the day that you, or, or make any money until the day that you come to sell. So if the price isn't right, you just hold on. No stop losses. Uh, so there's no hit in a stop loss and you're out the trading, you've just lost a load of money. Effectively, this is a bit like crypto in its way. Because when you actually buy it, you actually own a product. You own a share of a company. So the next bit's an ETF. What's an ETF? An ETF is an exchange traded fund. And that's an investment fund rather than individual shares. It's you're buying part of a fund that trades on, stock, on stocks and shares uh, on, on, the, on the stock market. So an ETF will hold things like stocks, commodities, or bonds. And you buy a small proportion of a fund. So that way you're spreading it even further and the rest gets, gets spread even further. And the opportunity, therefore, is, is better for you. 
So the way Wealth Manager is going to work is it's going to use uh, the bull and bear tracker, Kavera's bull and bear tracker. Now, some of you may have heard of this, some of you may not. The, the bull and bear tracker is something that was brought out a few years ago by a guy by the name of Michael Markowski, the guy behind startups. And it's something that really does some amazing things. The average monthly return that it's produced since it first came out has been more than 2%. The app will only is, is only paid on performance fees, no management fees. So there's no fixed monthly fee for it. So first of all, it only costs something if you use it, and it only costs a percentage of what you use. What it means is that for them to make any money out of it, the product actually has to work. You have to make money. If you make if you lose money on this, then they don't get paid anything whatsoever. So smart way for Kuvera to look at this in the first instance. So let's tell you a bit more, bit more about the bull and bear tracker. It's a tracker that monitors global performance, on global markets 24 hours a day. They use two different funds, uh, a high fund and a low fund, and they mirror the direction that the, the S&P 500 goes. Uh, and the, the, the S&P 500 is another US fund, and they're just monitoring stocks in that fund for the period for uh, a month at a time and mirroring where it goes. They have two marker lines, one a green marker line when it's going high, a red marker line when it goes low, and they can tell what's gonna happen. Since the bull and bear market averages six different changes a month, the gains that come from it happen really, really quickly. They happen within days or weeks. So you're not actually buying shares and expecting to hold on to these for years. For these to come into reality much like you would do if you buy into startups you could be expecting to hold on to startups for four five six seven ten years before you actually hit the big money this is something that's expected to hit quicker than this now the bull and bear tracker when it originally came out it was developed by michael michael markowski to predict when the stock market was going to crash and in fact back in 2017 the markets crashed and Michael Markowski got a lot of publicity because he made the announcement that the market was about to crash the day before everything went haywire. And the reason he was able to make the, the, the prediction was because he was using this tracker to pull it forward. Now, back in 2016, the Bank of Japan said that they were going to be, be applying negative interest rates. So rather than just zero percent they were actually going to be charging people minus one percent or charging people one percent two percent a month whatever it may be for their money that was going to be left in the bank that sent the markets absolutely crazy however when trump became president all that hassle sort of disappeared and a lot of people say that trump did great things for, for the markets as far as that was concerned because of that Kuvera decided that product wasn't needed anymore but Back in 2018, the market sort of went a bit crazy again. As we all know, last year was a, a weird year, not just in crypto, but also in Forex and stocks and everything else. And because it was a weird year, the product came out again and it was used. But this time, it was converted into something that will predict trends so it can tell which waste funds are going to go. Now, here's the important thing I want to get as far as this is concerned. And this is really, really important. Do not get caught out with this shiny object syndrome that we all fall for whenever Kavera brings out a product. I've seen it too many times when we bring products out that everyone turns around and goes, this is gonna be fantastic, this is gonna be the best thing since sliced bread. And we all run around and we all start talking about the latest new products again, and we get people excited and then something goes wrong and it doesn't work quite the way it's meant to because these things, these things are like that. Products, no matter what your products are, whether they're finance products, whether they're health and fitness products, products go wrong as well as going right. And we tell people very clearly, Kuvera tells people very clearly, your investments could lose money just as much as they could make money. But we don't like telling people they can lose money on it. So we don't tell them that. And then something goes wrong and they do lose a bit of money. And when they lose a bit of money, everybody gets disheartened and it all goes down. The industry that we're in is not is, is, is network marketing. That's what we're in. We're not in Forex. We're not in crypto. We're not in 
equities, EFTs, or anything else that's product related. Our business is a people business. And more than anything else, you need to understand that about our business. That's what we're all about. Network marketing is all about people. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Why that's got me doing that, I don't know. Let's stop share. And let's take a look at everybody we have on screen. So, Mr. Brooks, let's unmute you. So, I've been winging it because you weren't there when I first, when I first shared my screen. I was 10 seconds late, mate. I do apologize. Just, yeah, it's, it's not good enough, mate. I'm sorry. I'm not happy with it. I've got a sick note. Oh, well, that's all right. Well, you've got a sick note. Fair enough. Okay. So, guys, that was my brief explanation of the product as we have it. It's not detailed by any measure. We don't have details on it, but we have something that we, we have some exciting news to look forward to. And I, and I always think when the, when the company launches these things, it is a good thing to let people know that we've got these things. But we do want to make sure that we keep our focus 100% on the thing that's important to us. And the thing that's important to us is building our team. Simon, I'm going to pass this over to you right now because you've seen so many different product launches. Mm -hmm. as much as anyone else. Tell me what your thoughts are whenever you see a new product launch. Okay. Well, as you know, I've been around the industry for many, many, many years. And... I've done all the pills, potions, lotions, tablets, skincare, face cream, all, all the rest of it. I've been there, done it, bought the t-shirt and everything else. But what people used to do when they would, or when I was involved in those companies is we promoted the opportunity. Then the opportunity. Then the opportunity. Then the opportunity. It was always the opportunity. And for some reason, in Cuvera, we're not doing that. In France, they had 6,000 people at their event. And they're only ever focused on the opportunity. They're not focused on trading. They're not focused on the products. They're focused on the opportunity. Now, if we was to be involved just by using the alerts and just doing trading, there is a risk to that. You want to go out and build an organization with people, there's no risk. So how do you do that? What's the most exciting part and everything else? Every single one of you that's on this Zoom are in my organization. So this, if I wasn't, let's say if I had an upline, this is what I would say. This is how I would contact my friends, my family, my relatives and everything else. And bearing in mind, we got a few people here. One, two, three, four, five. There's five people from India on the call, which is about half past 12, quarter past 12 at night. These guys are committed. Now, we did a Zoom today, and they had 130 people on this Zoom, and they do those every day. And they focus on opportunity 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 they're just really reaching out to now don't get me wrong i know the population's the one population. billion but i say it now is opportunity even if you was just in a little town and there was a hundred thousand people focus on the opportunity you need to sell the dream build a team sell the dream build a team sell the dream build a team now when I was involved in pills, potions, and tabs, in actual fact, when Roger and I was involved in a product company, that product was a herbal blend. It was a juice that people used to drink an ounce every single day. And it supposedly helped people with arthritis, insomnia, hay fever, lethargy, PMT, psoriasis, eczema, high blood pressure, and many, many others. It had Sashandra berries in, olive vera, loads of other things. We got to a stage where we struggled to mimic every single ingredient in the product. It was a nightmare. But people used to use the product and say, don't worry about the product. This is an opportunity. You need to use the product, but you need to use the opportunity. You can't make money consuming the product. 
But what you can do is make money by sharing the opportunity. So this is what I would say to people. And I know this is what they do in India, is that we have an opportunity that's a little bit tricky to explain all the bells and whistles and everything else about the opportunity. So I'd rather not do that. I'd love to invite you to a business opportunity meeting. Oh, you mean I got to travel to a hotel event? Guess what? Modern technology, we don't need you to be burning money for burning petrol for the benefit of Tesco's SO or whatever. This is all from the comfort of your own home. It's on a Zoom presentation. It's very visual and audible. So all is you need to do, I've only got two places available. Would you like one? It will go through exactly what you do, where you do it, how you do it, why you do it, with whom you do it with. And it shows people making a significant income, whether it be with the product or with the opportunity. Does that sound fair? And pile as many people onto the Zoom as you possibly can. Now, when Roger and I was involved in this, this um, company, I thought, just remembered this. This juice, this bottle of juice, when the weather got to a stage where it got a little bit warm, the product exploded all over people's <laughs> uh, lounge floors, all over the carpets, in their fridges, everywhere, in their kitchen. And do you know something? People still thought, ah, oh, well, you know, this is still great. This is still great. Let's get people. Let's get people. Let's get people. So, and that's a product. But with Cuvera, we haven't got that. We haven't got any, well, we've got an exploding product, exploding on excitement, but not a juice product that's going to make a massive mess all over your floor. We actually had people at meetings all over the country and we was getting between two to 500 people an event on a Saturday and a Sunday, every single weekend. Now, what does that tell you? That tells you that we got off our backside and we created activity. Now, do we need to do that now? Because of modern technology, a lot of it we do on a Zoom. But people in this country or in Europe that are not using the Zooms, Say to me, this is why you're not, your business is not growing. This month alone, volume is going through the roof. But it's not going through the roof for a lot of you that's on the Zoom. Now, here's the reason why. It's because you are not promoting your business to your contacts. Why? Because you haven't created a story. You haven't explained to people why you're excited. Go, let's go back, whether it be a week to when you joined, a month when you joined, six months when you joined, whenever you joined. Think about why you joined, why you got so excited, what your belief level was. Now that's what you now need to portray to your contacts. So this would be me. I would turn around and say, hey Mary, hey John, hey Bob, I've just, partnered with my one of my business partners who's been in the industry for 31 years he's made 14 million and he turned around and said to me john go and find your three top people mary i thought of you first are you open to knowing what i've got involved with now what's mary gonna think mary's gonna think blimey you think I'm one of your top people. Wow. Now, Mary, this is going to cost you nothing to take a look. Absolutely zero. Nothing. Now, it might be for you. It might not be for you. Oh, but what is it? What is it? What is it? I'm not going unless you tell me what it is. Okay. If you're not going to go on the presentation unless you know what it is, it's not going to be for you. But I tell you what, I can't tell you what it is but I tell you, will tell you what it isn't. It's nothing to do with pills, potions, lotions, tablets, skincare, face cream, coffee, whatever. You haven't got to buy a ton of stock, whack it in the boot of your car, hawk it to, around to your friends and family 
and play the convincing game. That's what you haven't got to do. It's nothing like that. This is where we've got people in the organization that are making over 160,000 every month. And they've only been doing it for about three years and they're 24 years old. Is it worth you taking a few hours out of your life to take the rest of your life off? All you've got to do is just look at the presentation, nothing else. You don't, you can't speak. You just listen and watch. Does that sound fair? And you go down that road all the time and pile as many people onto the Zoom as you possibly can. Now, whether that means you're in India, whether it means you're in Europe, no matter where it is, it's Zoom, 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 Zoom. Simon, can I chip in for a minute? Yeah, I've got to take this call from America. Um, this guy okay. gonna... I'll mute you, I'll take over. Okay, guys, so I've got to chip in because there's some things that I've got to add in, in here. And I was smiling when Simon was presenting his introduction because it is undisputably Simon Brooks. There's no two ways about it. I think there's only, you know, when Simon starts to do his pills, potions, da 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 da, bullshit, every, I can't do that. I, none of you guys can do that. There's only Simon can deliver that. Here's the important thing you need to understand what Simon says with this, but understand the essence of what he says, but put this into your language, your terms, yeah? Some of the things Simon says won't sound natural coming from you. Some of the things that Simon says don't sound natural coming from me. However, there are important elements that he says. When Simon turns around and says, take a look at it, if it's not for you, that's great. You know, understand the important bits and keep the important bits, but the general bits as you get into a conversation, adapt to yourself, adapt to your way of speech. If it sounds like you're trying to remember what Simon says, parrot fashion and duplicate it. I'll tell you now, you will sound so fake, so phony, it won't sound real. I'll go back maybe 35, 36 years ago, when I first started in sales. And my first couple of years, I did sales the tough way. I went around and knocked on people's doors, selling life insurance. It was a great fun conversation. A complete stranger comes to the door and I said, I'd like to come in and talk about you dying sometime. It wasn't precisely what I said, but that's the general gist of it. People love me for it. I thought it was great. It's about as tough a way of selling as you can possibly get. But after a couple of years of that, I went to work for another company and they taught me to be more professional and they taught me to prospect by telephone and they gave me some scripts to work with. And they said, pick a number of people in your local area. And they literally gave me a telephone directory and I started calling around. So I'm calling around local shopkeepers in the village that I lived in. And I'll never forget the fruit and veg shop that I called. I knew the guy who answered the phone. Now, the way I speak is a little more clear than a lot of the people in the area that I live in. Um, and, and they're sort of very, they're quite broad in the area that I lived in at the time. And so there's me with a sort of crisp, clear, well-spoken voice, reading the scripts in front of me. And eventually this guy in a broad Northern voice said, you know, that sounds like a robot and slammed the phone down on me. And it left me gutted. But here's the thing. If you try to repeat precisely what Simon says, you will sound like a robot. Make it sound like you. Yeah. Personalize it a little bit. Make it your words so you believe the words that you're saying to people. So when you tell people that you have an opportunity that's blown you away, you should believe this opportunity blew you away. Well, I'll never forget when Simon first showed me this business. Now, Simon and I, at this point in time, hadn't spoken to each other for probably 15, 16 years. Mm. Our lives had gone in completely different paths. I'd, I'd completely run different businesses with my wife. Uh, I'd left the country and I'd come back to the country. And one day I decided I wanted to come back to network marketing and I reached out to Simon Brooks and said, how you doing mate? Long time no see. And I went across and I saw him. And he showed me the, the product that really caught my eye at the time was a product called Rise. And Rise was a Forex-based product. 
uh, and it was an automated trader that would produce, we were expecting to produce 4% a month. And I can't tell you how excited I got at the possibility of 4% a month. And I ran around and I spoke to 30 odd people on day one. Uh, and I can see at least two of those people on the call right now uh, who join me. One, one don't join me on day one, one join me a couple of weeks later. Yeah. Uh, and told them about this amazing product and it, it literally did blow me away. Uh, I didn't phone them up sounding like a robot. I didn't try to say pills, potions, lotions, da, 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 da. I can't do that. I said it in my words, but I said the important parts of what Simon said. And I got people to, in fact, on day one, because day one happened to be New Year's Day. For some strange reason, we weren't having a Zoom call on New Year's Day. I can't figure that one out, but... So on New Year's Day, on the first day of the year, when everyone else has got a hangover, I was bugging Simon with people to talk to. Merrily joined me. Uh, cello would join me a few weeks later as I dragged Cello across to Simon's house and so on and so forth. And my excitement level when I talk to people today is the same. It, it is somewhat different in as much as I know about the products now. And... I could turn around and explain the products to people if I have to, but just like Simon, I don't. Last week, Cello came out with, well, Cello, Cello took me out because I'm still not driving yet since my operation. So Cello was my chauffeur last week and Cello took me out into uh, a city quite close to here whilst we were handing out some business cards to try the business card technique that we told you all about last week. And I was handing the cards out and I was talking to people. If someone said to me, what's it all about? Could I explain the business as well as you can see it on a Tuesday night presentation? Well, of course I could. I've got a phone with me. I can do the presentation on my phone. I can show all the slides on my, show on my phone. I could do the presentation exactly as well. I could do the testimonials because I've got the testimonials video recorded, so I could do the testimonials on call. But I don't do it. What I teach people to do, when, I, when someone turns around and says, what's it all about? I say to people, you need to get on the Zoom call. And that'll explain. It's a very visual thing. Come on the call. It's going to take about half an hour, 35 minutes. But in that time, we'll explain everything about it. You can see the whole thing. You can make a decision based on that. Exactly what Simon Brooks does. And that's what we're saying to, to, to do the same thing. But the fact is, this business is about inviting people. And Simon, what I think, given that we're, we're a little bit ahead of time, can we ask Vera to tell us a little bit about how they're inviting in India? Because if they're getting 130 people on a day, let's talk to people that are doing it rather than people who, that are talking about it. Yeah, if he's prepared to put his camera on. Vera, can you do that for us? It's taking a lot. We're waiting for a second. I'm going to unmute you. If I can. I don't know whether Viraj can or can't. Okay, I can't unmute him at this end. Okay, if you can Viraj, I'd appreciate it because a couple of weeks ago when, when Viraj came on the call then and he spoke to us about the things that were happening in India, I, I don't know about you, I was blown away. And that Zoom call that we did a few weeks ago that Simon and I originally expected to be a 15 minute Zoom and actually went on for something to the order of an hour and I've learned so much and I've been showing it to people time and time again since because the level of excitement that's happening in India, when you talk to people who have an average monthly income of $200 a month, an average monthly income of $200 a month, and we have people over here who turn around and say, I don't know if I can afford that, but these guys are not just getting started at $300, they're finding $1,000 to put into the auto trader to get themselves started as well. Now, we've got some people that are doing amazing things over there right now. And the auto trader, incidentally, a few people have been asking about the auto trader this week. The auto trader hasn't sent any signals out for a couple of days. We're waiting for feedback from Joe to find out exactly why. And as soon as we've got that, we're going to update you all and keep you up to date with what's happening on that because it's something that's important to every single one of us. So we'll, we'll have that for you. But the important thing is it's not stopping anyone when it comes to India, just running around and bringing more and more and more people to look at the opportunity. Because when Viraj was on and talking to us a couple of weeks ago, here's what Viraj said. When he first got started, 
he didn't have any money to invest. He got started with his $300 to get started. He traded for a couple of days on a, demi, uh, on a dummy program, on, on a, a dummy trade account, and got some results on a dummy account. And then he ran around and he started talking to people about the business and talking to people about the opportunity for people to make money. And as Viraj started talking to people about the business, in his first month, he spoke to so many people that in his first month, his royalty was $2,000 in month one. Now, I've told you, you've, you've heard me say my story many, many times that I got 12 people on day one, plus I got my $250 bonus, $750, $750 on day one. Viraj ran past me in his first month. And he sprinted past that to four and a half thousand dollars a month, and he's still been with this business for, for three, four months now, Simon. Yeah, it's about 100, 120 odd days, something like that. Just nudging four months then. Yeah, yeah. and and he's uh, if you can, and if you can unmute him, I've just been communicating with him on here. Yeah, he won't be able. Ah, there you go. Okay. I know you need to unmute him. He's got his camera. There you go. Viraj, good evening. I know we spoke for about an hour and a half this morning, but Roger wants to ask you some questions. Hey, Viraj, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Viraj, what I really want is I want you guys talking, talking to us about the levels of excitement that you have over there because we have enthusiasm in this country. I'm not sure about excitement. We've got enthusiasm. I, I believe we've got a lot of enthusiastic people. I'm not sure we've got passion and excitement that you guys have. Tell us about what's happening over there that's getting 130 people a day on a Zoom. Uh, so just like uh, Simon said, like uh, it is all about the opportunity. We promote the opportunity, 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 nothing else. So here you've got an uh, advantage that you, the product makes you money. So we sell the... We, we create the pull in the product so much that uh, we show them even if you be on the subscription for a year. So after a year also, you make like $100 a day, which is good income in India. But uh, like doesn't it make sense to make your product or that education free from month one? So first we like put them on paper trading, maybe for four or five days, get them some good results and then uh, help them to get their product free, help them to get over the line. So individually get get involved with them to invite people so that they get their three. As Simon always has been telling us, the key is the three. So then every go in the second, third, fourth, fifth depth. So to get the three people, they invite invite people on the Zoom. So that's how we are having our Zoom calls on a daily basis, and we we duplicate the same thing in the entire team. So basically, maybe in the first 15 days, the guy goes generator and then we duplicate the same thing with these three people. So he goes business builder. So, I mean, you can work the comp plan, the match just like that. Let's say you want to execute, uh, go executive in the in a month. You have to help three people to go business builder. So you can like recruit, play the number game and do the same thing uh, with your whatever organization. So that is what the excitement is about and getting good results on the product, making money from the uh, comp plan, so putting more money. Uh, like, like I would like to share something like last week on the LDS channel, we had made like more than 1000 pips. So if I had a bigger account, so I would have used the bigger lot size to make more money. I mean 1000 pips, even if you use 0.1, you get like $1000 a week. So if I had like a $10,000 account and I could use a relatively uh, bigger lot size, like let's say 0.3 or something like that, I would have made $3,000 a week. But to have $10,000 in my Forex account, I need to have $10,000 in my bank account or the other way, the easier way is like create a network so that you can grow your account size to $10,000, getting that also from Kuvera and using whatever making putting more money to work for yourself so selling the concept in such a way and promoting zoom on daily basis uh, helping people to get over line that's the only thing and we promote opportunity so that as simon said there is no risk that money comes in every single month not like trading so that's about how we are doing it here in india Further, in the shortest thing how yeah. many how many people have you got now in your team that are business builders 
they're making their 500 every month. I think uh, maybe uh, nine, 20, 20 of them. Like, yeah. <laughs> 20, of them. 20 of them. And 20 how many days? Active, yeah. Not actual 20, but yeah, total 20. Okay. And how many days have you now been involved? Four and a half months. Like four and a half months. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. 120, 130, 130, 135 days. Right. So you're an old timer now. You're an old boy. <laughs> no, mate. That's you. That's you, mate. Boys, boys broke out. I, I didn't get you. Did you see okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's an English thing. It's like when we say you're an old boy, it means you're like me and Roger. You're an old timer. An old timer. You've been around a block a little bit. Hey, whatever. So that's that stunning, stunning story and stunning results. Now, guys, if you want to duplicate and copy what Viraj is doing on the event or at the event that's going to be on the 15th of September, we are going to do a massive recruitment event. And hopefully by then we might be showing you about a lead generation system that we're going to work. Now, if we haven't got that lead generation working, if it's not, then we won't mention it. But it will be a bit, uh, basically about <coughs> recruitment driven. Yeah. So, Roger, I, I, do, I do think, as far as this is concerned, though, uh, I think the most important thing for, for us to remember right now is that what Viraj talked about just then is finding people getting people trading on dummy accounts for the first week to 10 days trading on a dummy account, not actually putting their cash in and getting trading live. Yeah. And focusing on making sure that they don't pay the monthly subscription, find their three. Yeah. What we seem to be doing is looking for people who've got a chunk of money to invest and then we'll teach them to trade and then get a result. Then they'll start talking to people. But by that time, they've had to find some money to get started. They've had to find some money to actually, actually invest, which means that at that stage, you've, you've narrowed the number of people you can talk to rather than widened it. Yeah? Yeah. And then they're all worried about how much money they can potentially lose rather than worrying about, or rather than thinking about how much money they can make. Instead, what Viraj is doing in look, is looking for people who want to make money and saying, look, you don't have to invest money. We're going to show you how to make the money. We're going to show you how to give you some money to invest. Find three people, teach them how to get three people. We'll give you some money to invest. And yeah. they've turned on the head what we're trying to do. But it's not those guys that have turned it on the head. It's us that have turned it on our head because the system was always... Find three, teach them to find three, yeah. and use that money to invest. That's what I was taught when I came into the business. On day one, I ran out and I found my three, and then I found three for each one of those as well. On day one, because Simon said to me, there's an easy way of doing it and a hard way of doing it. The easy way, or the hard way, is to find three people and then wait for them to find three each. And the easy way is just go and find a lot of people yourself and do it. So I did it the easy way and found, went and found a lot of people. Yeah, and find 12. And that's what I did on the very first day. Well, now, actually, we, we've actually got Angela who's on the line. Now, Angela had a dummy account, a de sorry, not a dummy, a demo account for about the first week or two. And if you remember, guys, Angela was on our Tuesday Newsday before she even saw the opportunity. Then we got another person that's on the, uh, on the Zoom, which is Simon Payne. And Simon, is a very successful trader. In actual fact, Simon, how much money are you making a week, a month, or what sort of results have you had? Um, am I unmuted? Yeah. Okay. Um, roughly, I don't know, about, about between 100 and 200 a day, roughly. Um, a day. It can drop, yeah, it can drop a little bit, but, you know, on a bad day, maybe 50 or 60. Um, and the best week I had was six grand, which was just r ridiculous. But that was just, a, I think, a bit of a, a, a good streak of luck. Um, but that's, why, that's, then, why, that's why you're not bothered about finding your three. No, no I am. <laughs> um, but I think, I think 
think if you, you know, from between 50 and 100 a day, anyone would be pretty happy, really. But, you know, maybe 150, 200 a day is about right. Okay. But that's more than what most people make in a job. Well, the job I had before, I was making... <laughs> I was making less than that in a month for one week. So, but the, yeah. the one th the one thing that uh, I I do say to so many people with this business, and it's something that Simon just alluded to, and that is that trading can become a job. The one thing about trading is this: if you stop trading, your money stops coming in. Mm. If you build a team. If Veraj takes a month off right now, he's got 20 generators in his business. If he takes a month off, if, if, if he had to have an operation like I had a few weeks back for whatever reason, and he had to just couldn't run around, would his team continue to grow? Well, yeah, he's got, he's got 20 generators in his business. His business will continue to grow. It might not grow quite as fast because he's not there to actually push it forward and push and give people that little extra push, but it would still continue to grow. If Simon had the same issue and Simon couldn't trade, if he had a major power yeah. cut in the area, no more money mm -hmm. coming in. No. Yeah? That's why building your team is critical. The, the team is what this business is all about. Is we. And last at the weekend, I did my Sunday to my uh, Sunday how to presentation. I said to people about residual income, and I do think that we have to be careful how we phrase it to people about residual income, and not phrase, not introduce residual people to to people who don't understand what we're talking about. But if you're on this call tonight, you understand what residual income is all about. That's what we're here for. We're here for to create an income that means that when you stop working for a week, a month, or even a year, you still continue to get paid. Simon had a business back in, back in the days when we were in health and nutrition that paid him money whether he worked or whether he didn't. You know, I remember the time when Simon first, first started to hit big money. And um, it, it was like Judith Chalmers. Every month he and Julie were off on holiday. I, seriously, I'll tell you now, we got to the point where he told me he was bored of getting on planes. How do you get bored of getting on planes? Yeah. He was going on holiday that often because the money had started to come in. I felt really sorry for him at the time. I remember thinking that. <laughs> Honest. But the money was coming in. He could take time off. The business would continue to grow. That's what we want to get everyone to that same position. You've heard me say more than enough times, Angela, I can see you waving. Give me two seconds and I'll un un unmute you. Um, you. You heard me saying time and again that when I wrote advertising copy, I wrote one particular piece of copy. I wrote one contract that just worked for me like crazy and the thing is still paying me 1,400 quid a month seven years after I first wrote it. It's paid me over 100,000 pounds so far. That's residual income. That's what you call doing things right. Now, and the thing is, I can't get those kind of contracts on a regular basis. I just found one customer that was prepared to sign a contract with me that was in, written in my terms, and I didn't care. On that particular day when I did the deal, I didn't care if he said no. So he did the deal, and I'm still being paid for it. That's residual income. What I want is the residual income with my team because I'll have, a, rather than have one of them, I'll have a thousand of them. And that's the plan with each and every one of us. And it's a plan that's there for every one of you. Angela, you were waving. You wanted to say something. Okay. Um, I think probably I, I expect that a lot of us on the call really, really want residual income right that that's a dream for you know for anyone um have residual income um and i certainly do um but i i still believe and i wondered if you could have ask viraj i still believe that even within network marketing the product is important because without without belief in a product it's it makes it a different thing and and I, I i think that a lot well i personally came in 
when I believed in, I heard about the product, the product could make money. It wasn't a skin cream. It wasn't CBD oil that I was trying to sell before. It was a product that could make us money. Even if it's only a small amount of money, like consistently, yeah, it loses, it wins, it loses, it wins. But consistently, if you could make 100 a week or even more than that, then that is amazing compared to having any money in the bank. Absolutely. So I, I, think, I think a lot of us were kind of bowled over by the fact that a product in a network marketing company could actually make money. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think you're absolutely right. Could, could you ask Mirage? And, and, and I've, I felt it came across in, in what he said. They, although they're concentrating very much on network marketing and spreading the news, which I, I, I've spread the news, but I, I'm, I'm holding back a little bit, yeah? Um, I, I, I would like to know if they still believe that the product is important. Okay. Viraj, just... Oh, there you go, Viraj. I'll let you answer. Yeah, of course, the product is important, and that's why we are building it this year. The so product is that important that it makes such an obscene amount of money that rather than getting money from our bank account, why not make the money first from the recommendation while practicing it on a paper trading or a demo account, whatever? Because the average salary here in India is way too low. So that is how we are selling it, and. Uh, like, yeah, of course, the product makes money and it is very, very, very important for people who are having money. We get them on the product, get their beliefs. And now we are already having product stories in our team. Like uh, people are making like uh, $6,000 on a $1,500 account a month, which is like way too huge. But to have that $1,000 in extra in your bank account, if you don't have it. So here you can join Kuvera, build a network first. Uh, start paper trading, start learning the skills and then put the money to work for yourself. So to have more money to work for yourself, you need to have a, a network here in India because since it is a lower economy as compared to the uh, UK or something like that. So that is what. And yes, we totally believe that the product is equally important. And actually the product yourself, uh, it's a double punch. The product also makes money and team building makes more money. So yeah, that is how it is. I mean, I hope I answered your question. Thanks, Vera. I appreciate that. Uh, Angela, that's precise. I, I know that was, that was the answer to your question. That was the answer you were looking for. I, I have to say, I hope that you get that same thing from Simon and myself. I don't think that the product is unimportant. So I think the product is hugely important. You guys, you see me posting my results when I post my trades and I show that I use the products as well. I do believe the product's important. I tell my family and my friends, I have my family trying this product and I wouldn't have my family trying something if I didn't believe in it. It is hugely important. What I am saying, however, is that you don't have to wait. Simon said before that we have people who don't have a story yet and they're concerned about talking to people because they don't have a story. Rick Robery said a couple of weeks ago when he was here in the UK, your story is immaterial. Use other people's stories until yours is the story that they want to hear. That's what I did on day one. I couldn't have told Merrily on day one about the results that I got from this product because first and foremost, it was day one. Secondly, it was New Year's Day. The markets were closed. I couldn't get a result come what may. However, I told Merrily what I believed and I told Merrily what I'd seen. And Merrily and I go back a number of years and she listened and she said, okay, she took my word for it and she joined. And we've seen people that have tried different things and we, we, you know, we see people who actually come on and they start trading and they get carried away with trading. People do crazy things when it comes to trading. Some of them scare me, honestly, because... I, I see people who trade in ways that, that terrify me. They put lot sizes that are way too big. 
they 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 have a good day and they they see a good day where they make a lot of money and then they think wow tomorrow tomorrow I can make even more money their lot size goes up the market goes them against them and they lose their shirt in a heartbeat you know Simon Payne will tell you about the day when he had yeah I can see yeah he, he'll tell you about the day when he had five gold trades on on the one day thought everything was going great and the price turned and he could not close them fast enough. Um, on exactly the same day, on exactly the same trade, Jonathan Rutherford had a much bigger freight stake on than you, much bigger lot sizes than you, and lost 1,200 quid in a matter of minutes. People I was do washing my car, and by the, time, <laughs> by the time I'd washed the soap off my car and had a glance at the phone, and I'm talking less than a minute, gone, all yes. of it. Pay someone to wash your car. It's too, it's too expensive. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, this is funny because this morning, my first conversation uh -huh. with Roger, I said, Rog, can you freaking tell me when a gold trade, gold uh -huh. trade come out, warn me not to touch it. Every freaking time I put it on, yeah. I lose. I do not trade gold. Not for all the tea in China. I'm, I'm just not, not putting. I'm not putting it on. I don't do it. No. It changes too fast. The fact is, you have to work it, and you've got to watch it. I, I, do. I don't. Be, I do believe there is an opportunity to make profit out of gold, but you have zero to point zero zero. <laughs> yeah, that's my. Yeah, that's mine. Yeah, you you have to. You know, there is an opportunity to make money out of it. People make money out of trading gold. But the fact is, you've got to watch it, and I don't. I don't do watching screens. I've got too many other things in my life to do, watching screens. And the second it starts to change, just like Simon said, they all went. They all went wrong. He got five trades on, couldn't close them fast enough. People do crazy things when it comes to trading forex. But here's the weird thing: you bring a prospect into this business, and you sell them just on the idea of how much money they can make from trading, and you don't teach them about building a team. And they do something crazy and they lose money. Do they blame you? Do they blame Cuvera? Do they blame themselves? Well, they blame Cuvera. They possibly blame you. They never blame themselves, even though they were the one that put five trades on against the same trade, which is the dumbest thing in the world to do. Sorry, Sam. Which is the dumbest thing in the world to do, but nonetheless, they do it. Yeah? But they'll only blame you for it. If, however, you can get the message across that if you build a team and you help other people to make some money and you make sure that they're not paying $200 a month in subscription just to get these signals, find three people and you save yourself $2,400 every single year. That's, that's essential. That's the very, very first step. That's what Viraj said is the first step. It's, Viraj said, trade on paper for a few days whilst they're doing it, but find three people to make sure you're not paying $200 a month. It was the very first thing I did. You know, you, you, can, you have to do that. You've got to save yourself $2,400 a month. Because if, if you recruit someone into your business... $2,400 a year. Sorry, a year, sorry. But when you have, you know, when you recruit someone into your business and... Three months later, they haven't recruited anybody and they're out of their business. It's because they're paying $200 a month. Yeah. And brought anybody in. That's why they've left the business. They're paying $200 a month and they're seeing nothing for it. Mm. If they've got three people in their team, even if they haven't made any money, three months later, they're still in and they're still talking to people and they're hopeful. And then eventually they won't have three people because all of their three will have three and then they've got a residual and then they'll love you. Then you have a friend for life and you have a friend who will think that you did them biggest favor in the world. That's what I honestly believe this is about doing people a favor. I mean, you, you know, you have to educate someone, but it is about doing people a favor. I do believe this industry is, is about helping other people. And you know, if, if you, if you think it's all about selling, I'll tell you now, it, it won't work. You will come across as a salesman, you'll come across as a hustler, and people won't buy it from you. If you genuinely want to help people, and you genuinely, everything that you do, when people contact you and ask you questions, if all that you do is try to help, it comes across.
people know when you're genuine. Yeah. Well, we are in a, a, a network recruitment opportunity. And it's all, about, it's all about being passionate about why you first originally joined. And if you struggle to explain the opportunity to your contacts, then you've really got to evaluate your story and trade it on a demo account because then you're going to get results. You will get results, whether it be good or bad, but do a demo account, you know, and then get those results and then stand and shout from the rooftop. And then I, I'm going to chuck one last thing. In. Sorry, mate. I'm going to chuck one last thing in just about the understanding bit. Yeah. If you struggle to explain this business, uh, a quote that I shared a couple of days ago, so the guys that were in on Sunday from Albert Einstein, if you can't explain something simply, it's because you don't understand it well enough. I've just had a it's message here from Vera saying, he said I have 20 generators. It's not generators. It's 20 business builders. <laughs> so, 20 business. Thanks, Vera. Apologies for that. Yeah. Which is a lot more, a lot more than generated. Business builders. Wow. 20 business builders. Business builders. Four and a half months. Yeah. 20 business builders. That's why he's making four and a half thousand a month. And, and, he, and Viraj started with no money. He didn't have any money to invest. Yeah. Is, this business isn't about investing. This business and is about building. Mm -hmm a poor country so don't get anyone give you any crap about oh all the people I know haven't got any money haven't got any money go to India go to India they haven't got money. people tell you how they haven't got money how much is your sky bill yeah how much is your mobile phone bill how much was the last pair of trainers you bought mm. you know the I, I was going out with a girl last year and, and her son bought a new pair of trainers every single month and he paid 250 quid a month for a pair of trainers. So at the end of the year, he's three grand out of pocket and he's got 12 pair of trainers. He's only got two feet. I don't figure that one out, do you? Three yeah. grand? It's all um, come on, guys. the value. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end and share this story with you. Imagine you're speaking to a prospect and said, oh, I can't afford to join. Really? Okay. So when you say you can't afford to join, how much can you afford? Oh, I've got nothing. Right. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Let's imagine I've got a Rosso Red Ferrari Testarossa on my drive. Brand spanking new. And... I think Roger, you'd know this, but they're they're worth about two hundred and fifty thousand. Two hundred fifty thousand. Not making twenty years ago, but yeah, I know what you mean. I yeah. say new new Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So two hundred and fifty grand, a quarter of a million. Okay, and all I want for it is five thousand pounds. Are you gonna go and get the five thousand? Would you buy it? But your pot list, don't forget, you you can't afford toffee. What are you going to do? First thing you're going to do is go to your local Marks and Spencers, buy a balaclava, then go to the gun shop and get a gun and go and rob Barclays Bank. You're going to get the money, come high or low. So what does that mean, that story? That means perception of value. So if you're speaking to people and they say they can't afford it or it's too expensive, it's because you've not told them how valuable the opportunity is where the value is and that's I've, I've learned that in 31 years and when I when I first, first heard it I thought holy schmoly that makes so much sense but yeah. hmm. guys we will see you all tomorrow night yeah and do don't forget, exactly do not forget you've only got a few more days left to book the 15th if you want to go on, and I know Florence, you're going to phone me afterwards because you're going to want my bank details, but we've got Angela flying over from Portugal. There's a load of people on here. We've got Gary on. We've got other people on. All these people have booked the event. So, guys, if you're serious about your business, you need to attend events. And people say, oh, do I have to go to all the events? Well, I'll tell you what, I've never missed one. 
in all the years I've been involved, as long as I can walk away with one gold nugget, then that will benefit my business. So folks, you know, you need to go all out. Now, you got a choice. You can either pay 10 pounds for a ticket to go, or leave it a few days because you're thinking about it and all the rest of it, and you'll be paying double, double your choice. Your choice. Anyway, my time's up. Thanks for yours. Catch you guys later. Okay, guys. So tomorrow night, we'll see everybody on. Bring as many people as you can. Remember, you don't have to explain it. I'll do the explaining. Just bring people on the call tomorrow night. See you then. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.